is Ozark's Fox AM. Good morning. Did you miss us? Because we're back. We're back. In your living room. Welcome to Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you for joining us today. I just felt like they were missing us. Did you? I well, did. You know, they, they're the best fans ever because, you know, they, they pay attention, they talk to us, and we love Can that. Can I tell you, that's really funny you said that because I actually was cleaning out, not cleaning my car. Oh, well, we know that doesn't that, happen. That's not no. going to happen. No. I was getting stuff out of my car. <laughs> you would be uncomfortable if your <laughs> car was clean. If my car was clean, I don't know what I'd do. Jeremy, I think you'd lose your mind. I would. I know. A cluttered mind is... A genius mind, right. That's what you want to get. Or is yeah. it the devil's playground? What is I that? don't know. But all I know is I've sat in his sidecar with trash up to here. That is so rude. I'm sorry. Jeremy, clean this mess up. I'm sorry. But I was really thinking yesterday, I was taking this up in my car going... We have the best fans in the we world. We do. Best, I don't even call them fans. I call them friends because they're all friends of they ours. They are friends. They're friends. We thank yes, you so much for we watching. We appreciate and all Your the kind things. comments all the time. We really do appreciate it. We very much do. And then the negative ones, we just brush us. <laughs> and we just ignore y'all. <laughs> we ignore that side. That we don't like, we just don't answer. No. We just push it on <laughs> over. There you go. Jeremy. <laughs> what? Yes. I just want to say. Yes. Happy anniversary to Dave Smith. Who's Dave Smith? My husband. <laughs> We got a picture there. Look at those there kids. There we Look go. Look at those kids. Some uh, a couple, two, three decades ago. I don't know for sure, but yeah. Uh, but I, wait, I'm, don't stay on that because I got to get a closer look at this. I can't see that from my monitor. Yeah, oh, and you know, here's the thing. Look though. at your dress. Oh, oh I know. Hair. And the hair. I know, but here's the thing. I had braces on, but my friend Joanna uh, Presley, she actually took the wire out so that I could, you know, get married without a wire, and then she put it back in. So. My teeth are, have a little bit of that, you know, stuff on them there, the, the white now, thing. Now, I'll be honest, Kelly, I don't know what decade that is, but you know what it reminds me of? Still Magnolias. <laughs> and Julia Roberts and her pink. I want my own yes. wedding dress. But I, uh, yeah, so this was the day uh, several years ago that we, I crawled into that little horse-drawn carriage. You had a horse-drawn carriage? Sure did. That was Dave's idea. And then I came in, and we got married at Phelps Grove Park. And then, of course, he joined me in the end. But, um, yeah, you know, um, it, was, it was a beautiful day. Can I ask you this question about your reception? Uh-huh. Did you, because this is so weird you brought this up. I didn't even know it was your anniversary. Okay. We were talking about weddings before yeah. the show. Yeah. Because several people had to postpone. Yeah. Did you have food at your reception? I did. But here's yeah. what I did. I made it easy for all the folks there. I went, I didn't have to make them stand in a line. I told them to get all their food, have a seat, and I came by and talked to oh, them nice. all. Uh, yeah, but I did. But it, it's expensive. I paid Can for I all of it. Can I say y'all must have been rich? We were talking about this in my family. My family, no food at weddings. It is a really? cake, peanuts, and mints. No food. It's what? a reception. It's you. I'm dead serious. You get married at the church. You walk right next door to the gymnasium of the church. Okay. And, and everybody potluck. And everybody. Is no, that right? We didn't have oh. potluck. It well, is cake and nuts and mints. And I will tell you. It, and punch. And I, there's no, no beverages or anything. Punch. How, punch long, it. how long does yeah. this whole ordeal take? Are you out Maybe. by lunchtime? Well, maybe in an hour, an hour and a half. No okay. dancing. Not in my Baptist church. No dancing. Um, I don't remember if we had Focus. dancing or not, but I paid for the whole wedding. That was my deal. I paid for my dress. I paid for everything. Well, wow. except for we got some help on the honeymoon. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's, that's amazing. I, I was just like, I, we, the first time I ever went to a wedding that had food, I thought I was in like Buckingham Palace. Oh, my goodness. No. I was like, they have a sit-down dinner no, here? No, but, but I remember. Pricey. It is but pricey. We yeah. were poor. We, we had my Aunt Betty's wedding at Christmas time so we could use Christmas decorations for her wedding to save money. Jeremy, I didn't have a lot of money, I, but I lived at home and I saved up and I well, spent it on Well, Good them. for you yeah. for being frugal, though. I bought my and own first car. That's the way it should be these days, these kids. They're <laughs> spoiled. Be. I love how Joe you. and Elisa are looking at us like we're crazy and me yeah. crazy for not having food at a wedding. Sorry, That's it's just right. the way anyway. we did it. Anyway, we I digress. I've never been to a wedding without food. <laughs> really? I've been to but a lot of them. That's good, too, though. Do you yeah. remember the fact that we're Italian? Oh, that's true, though. Oh, I, lots of people, lots of food. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and screaming. Joe, I can't wait to go to your wedding. Oh, I'm just gonna, boy, I want to oh eat. Boy, You're man. setting the bar pretty high because I want a lot of food. That's a lot of food pressure, but I, yes. think, I think my family would be up for it for sure. <laughs> cook, they would cook for it. It'd be great. Weddings are pricey. Medical degrees are also pricey. This is true. Do you know this? Not when you make an NFL salary, though. We did this story mm, about a year ago about Dr. Uh, what's his name? Laurent Duvernay Tardif, all right? He mm. plays on the Chiefs. He's a, he's a tackle. I remember right? that vaguely so now. So he got his doctorate <laughs> degree last offseason. He won the Super Bowl with the Chiefs this season, 
And what's he doing now, guys? He's in Canada. His residency is on hold because of the, you know, global pandemic happening. So now he's actually in a nursing home helping patients fight the coronavirus is right now. Is that right? How cool Good is that right him. now? There's a look at him, stethoscope and all. So he has his doctorate degree, but you still have to go through residency and things before you can practice. Since that's been on hold, he's essentially in a nursing role for this right now. Okay. Mm. But he's been up there for a little bit. Big article in Sports Illustrated about him right now today is out. So check that out if you want to read up on him. I just think he's doing a lot of good for yes. the community. There he's a winner, whole, right? that guy, helping the community. He is, I and he won that. the Super Bowl, too. Yeah. So he's doing all that. I think that's pretty solid. That's, that's amazing. Fantastic. That's know? great. Very good to do, and uh, Elisa pointed this out as well. There's a former St. Louis Cardinal first baseman who's in New York who's now a doctor, it's and he's also up. helping fight the coronavirus. So how do you like that? I like Joe, that. I'll give you 10 bonus points up. if you can say his name again. <laughs> La Dr. Laurent Duvernay Tardif. Oh, that's yay. Amazing. I that's could. Just, I, I was uh, like, easy for you to say. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's also on the task force for the NFL to help implement the safety procedures they need to get back to playing. Everyone's asking, how do we get back uh, to playing sports? Uh, Joe, a lot of physical contact. They have helmets make on. Can't they wear a mask under their helmet? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello. Maybe you should be on the Woo! task force, I'm right? Calling, I'm calling Mahomes after the show. I'm going to call Patrick Mahomes. And does see he answer your call? He does. All the time. It'll work. You guys big Chick-fil-A fans like the rest yes, of the world? Yes, She yes, definitely yes. is. Yeah. You? No? I... What's wrong I with Chick Fil A? Their drive-through line moves quickly. I just don't want to wait in it. Yeah, I get it. I'll I just get be it, honest. Man. I get it. Because too many people like well, Chick Fil A. You don't have to wait for the sauces now. Because first of all, do you know what their two most popular sauces are? Uh, uh, is it the sweet and sour? Sweet and sour and barbecue? honey mustard. Barbecue. Wrong, 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 wrong. Polynesian. There's one. Polynesian. That's like sweet and sour. That's Polynesian what I thought too. I thought that's sort of like yes, that. Yes, it one. is. Uh, the chi the Chick Fil A sauce oh, okay. oh. itself. They're now bottling these and selling them starting this week at select Targets and WalMarts for all you people to, uh, you know, buy crazy. Oh, yeah. You can also get them in the in their restaurant locations. These are in select spots right now. It's going nationwide soon, though. Well, they didn't so. ask me because I want the honey mustard. Is that you your do you do honey mustard? Yeah. Is there now? Is there something about is Chick Fil A's honey mustard visibly different than honey mustard sauce you get elsewhere? Why? I I don't know. That's a I genuine don't, question. I don't eat I'm it not, anywhere yeah. else. Just yeah. on my chicken uh, gotcha. tenders. Can I tell you what's really good though? Sorry, I'm going to McDonald's here for a second. Get chicken nuggets at McDonald's and you dip it in the sweet and sour sauce and then you dip it in the barbecue oh, sauce. Maybe, it's really good. Maybe, maybe that's a combined sauce they need to. Maybe we make. need to create our own sauce. Yeah. Sorry, that made me think of that. McDonald's has a good nugget though. I'm a big they fan. Really yeah, that's all right. Chick Fil A, not worth the wait. <laughs> you guys are horrible. It's a long just trying time. to set you guys off. You're, You're just, just trying, trying to, to get us all I agree, set. Joe. Yeah. Okay, okay, I don't. But well, I know Elisa staunchly disagrees. That's why. Yes, we're on the same page here. <laughs> they work drive-throughs better than anybody works anything ever. That's true. What's your favorite sauce, though, Lisa? I. <laughs> <laughs> he knows you. I don't like any condiments, so I haven't had any of them because I. What? Don't... You're not a sauce girl. I'm not a saucy girl. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm saucy and sassy. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I I literally I don't even like ketchup. Like I literally put I just it, it, it's good enough on its own, oh, and I don't you even like the I don't flavor. We're going to buy the sauces and make you taste them on air. Yeah. I'll taste them, but like, I just, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, 